Hey, hey, what's rocking, gentlemen and ladies, stockings? You're watching Raven's Real Music. I'm your host, Raven Kipling. Now, today, as we discussed uh, yesterday, we're going to be listening to Hank Williams on Double Play Sunday. Um, Hank Williams is definitely the backbone of country music, him and Johnny Cash. So that's where that all comes from. So who's Hank Williams? Hiram Hank Williams was born September 17th, 1923, and he passed away in a tragic car accident on January 1st, 1953. He was an American singer, songwriter, and musician, uh, regarded as one of the most influential and most significant American singers and songwriters of the 20th century, up there with Bob Dylan and Johnny Cash, and definitely, yeah. He recorded 35 singles, five released that reached the top 10 of the Billboard Country and Western Best Sellers chart, including 11 that reached number one. Born and raised in Alabama, Williams was given guitar lessons by African-American blues musician Rufus Payne in exchange for meals or money. Payne, along with the Roy Acuff and Ernest Tubb, had a major influence on Williams' later career style. Williams began his music career in Montgomery, in Montgomery in 1937 when producers at the local radio station, WSFA, hired him to perform and host a 15-minute program. He formed the Drifting Cowboys backup band, and which was managed by his mother, and dropped out of school to devote his time to his career. When several of his band members were drafted during World War II. He had trouble with their replacements, and WSFA terminated his contract because of his alcoholism, which he, he suffered from greatly. We all have a vice in life. doesn't matter who you are. Most people might be sitting there going, oh, I don't have a vice. Are, are you obsessed with money? You have a vice. Anyway, where were we? Williams married singer Aubrey Shepard, who was his manager for nearly a decade. After recording Never Again in Honky Tonkin with Sterling Records, he signed a contract with MGM uh, Records in 47. He, re he released Move It On Over, which was also covered by George Thorgood in a rock version, which is pretty good too, um, which became a hit and also joined the Louisiana Hayride program. One year later, he released a cover of Love Sick Blues, which carried him into mainstream after an initial rejection. Williams joined the Grand Ole Opry. He was unable to read or notate music to any significant degree. Among the hits he wrote were Your Cheating Heart, Hey Good Looking, and I'm So Lonesome, I Could Cry. Years of back pain, alcoholism, and prescription drug abuse severely compromised Williams' health. In fifty two he married Shepherd or yeah he divorced Shepherd, sorry, and married singer Billy Jean Horton. He was dismissed by the Grand Ole Opry because of his unreliability and alcoholism. On New Year's Day in fifty three, he suffered from Well, this can't be right. This says that he suffered from heart failure and died in Oak Hills, West Virginia, but I I was told he died in a car wreck, so that's uh, a little dismaying. Despite, especially in country music, many artists have covered his songs and he was influenced. Elvis Presley, Johnny Cash, Chuck Berry, Jerry Lee Lewis, George Jones, George Strait, Charlie Pride, and the Stones, among others, Williams was inducted into the Country Music Hall of Fame in 61, the Songwriters Hall of Fame in 70, and the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 87. The Pulitzer Prize jury awarded him a posthumous, I guess that's what it says, special citation in 2010 for his craftsmanship as a songwriter who expressed universal feelings with simplicity and played a pivotal role in transforming country music into a major musical and cultural force in American life. For the first time ever on Raven's Real Music, we're going to be listening to Hank Williams Sr. Enjoy, guys.
San Miguel Feeling dandy, doing swell My gal is the village bell Hotsy totsy, fruity tooty Super duper, fruity tooty Fruity tooty, she's my Monday gal
big storm collide Just stood there and never let it show So she could never answer yes or no He always wore his Sunday feathers and held the Tommy Hall The maiden wore her beads and braids and hoped someday he'd talk Because his heart was made of naughty pine. Poor old Elijah, he never got a kiss. Poor Elijah, he don't know what he missed. Is he any wonder that his face is red? Elijah, that poor old wooden head. Sit on the Indian maid with the cold black hair Elijah Just stood there and never let it show So she could never answer yes or no And then one day a wealthy customer bought the Indian maid And took her oh so far away But old Kalijah stayed I'll never get out 